Hey everyone, what I'm doing today is I am actually trying to fix an oil leak in my Genesis Coupe that uh, my dealership hasn't been able to fix despite taking it in about six or seven times. So I thought I would uh, give, give it a shot myself. But since I was taking the valve cover off anyways, I thought, you know what, I'm going to finally cover the PVC system or the vent system of the, the engine once and for all, put it to rest, never ever have to have this kind of discussion ever again with people because uh, quite honestly nobody's listening and I'm quite sick and tired of it. How the system works is this is the top of your engine. Right down here you have your P, uh, PVC, your pros positive, or PCV valve, sorry, your positive crankcase ventilation valve. Okay, What that does is whenever the pressure in the valve cover itself gets too high, your, it uh, plops open the valve and dumps the excess pressure into the intake manifold. The other thing that happens is when the engine is not in boost, so basically idle and low RPM travel, whenever you're not creating positive pressure um, or pressure exceeding ambient pressure, um, the valve will stay open and it will basically vacuum the uh, the vapors and condensation and a bunch of other junk out into the uh, the intake manifold, which then gets recycled through your your combustion cycle and so forth and so forth. The other thing that your engine has is a crankcase vent, and I'm this is what I've been trying to explain to everybody but nobody seems to be listening they all seem to have a, their own ideas and oh I can just stick a breather filter on and blah 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 okay no you can't not with the way that Hyundai designed their system and I'm going to show you guys finally why when you turn on the back side you're gonna notice you've got these huge sections here that don't equal here and that's because Hyundai installed these metal plates and what these plates are is they're called galleries. These galleries um, are basically a predefined location for the vapors to accumulate before they are pulled out of the intake system. You'll notice here that there are two little traps here. At the lowest point of these defined runners here. That is because as the vapors gets yet pushed through this hole back here which to make sure that it was clearly defined and to, because they're kind of a bitch to clean um, I stuck some paper towel in just so you guys could see the white of it um, the vapors and fumes go through here which then have time in basically a cold chamber for them to condense and fall back on top of the camshafts which sit right here. So Hyundai has already got a makeshift catch can system built right into the intake manifold, okay? Is it a hundred percent? No, not by a long shot. But they do already have a system in there to protect your engines, uh, the inside of your cylinders, okay? And that junk, okay, that gets con condensed may get back down into the oil pan, in which case it'll be picked up by the, uh, the oil pump and it will be filtered out by the oil filter. Now, this is the gallery for the crankcase vent, okay? You'll notice that the vent does not in any way, shape, or form connect to the lower deck at all. The lower deck is where the, the, the sleeves are. Okay, just for those who don't know, lower deck is where the sleeves and pistons are and your crankshaft. The upper deck is where your camshafts are and your heads. Okay, because not all engines have head or not all engines have overhead cams, so that's where your heads are, okay, where your valve assembly is. Let's just put it that way. So this is only venting, okay? Now because Hyundai uses a closed deck system, okay, which means that the oil has to go through channels in order to get into the uppers to oil the, and lubricate the cams, okay? It's not just open air, you, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is actually just venting the entire block. This, 
this connected to your intake manifold and this is why you cannot just put a filter on there because this is designed to be on vacuum which I've tested is proven that this has a vacuum on it um, when the engine is running okay it's only about five inches of mercury but it is still vacuum it is designed when the PCV system which as you can see extends higher than your your crank vent okay when your PCV system is closed the engine relies on the vacuum generated by the turbo or the intake okay which you're you, in order to make more boost you have to suck more air in so um, this is constant un, under constant vacuum and it is designed through this open deck system with the oil, oil galleries um, to be under constant vacuum okay when your engine is at idle okay which on a lot of boosted applications at idle is actually when your rings are allowing the most amount of vapor blow by okay because at higher rpm your rings swell and they close which is why a lot of boosted applications you've got a lot of tolerance between your rings okay when this closes it needs this to have vacuum under it to get all of the fumes and vapors and everything out okay it's not just for emissions it's because it was designed to run that way at idle and non-boosted applications such as highway cruising when you're doing 70 miles an hour 100 kilometers an hour whatever um, this will also be open vacuuming out the uh, the vapors so that's just this this is designed by Hyundai for this reason it is designed to be under vacuum so putting a breather on here is a no-go you shouldn't do it putting a breather on your PCV system which is right here is a really big no-no you don't do that you just do not do that in any way shape or form okay it's bad for your motor so what we're covering today is do you use an two atmosphere ventilated system no if you want to maintain engine longevity you do not use a two atmosphere crank ventilation system I'll go to the motor now and we will be looking at that and covering the how basically this system interacts with the motor okay so we're out at the at my car now and you can see from the way that the cam system is set up it's all overhead cam it's actually really easy to change the cams in this car I'm actually quite impressed by that kind of ease from Hyundai um, you'll notice though or maybe you won't but the you cannot see the bottom of the engine from any any pipe nothing no you can't see see anything you can see the tappets you can see the valves you can see puddles of oil but you cannot actually see the bottom of the engine the reason for that and for those curious this is where your crank vent would be and some maybe somebody's gonna argue hey but uh, the crank vent is in that particular spot for a particular reason well no it's not it's there because it was uh, easy for Hyundai to put it there is basically all it comes down to they probably had some sort of volumetric equation that they used to generate the ideal whatever doing whatever it is that Hyundai does but the fact is is no it is a closed deck system it uses um, oil pipes to fuel the oil through here okay and to lubricate the bearings okay the excess oil is dispersed outside of the bearing okay and you'll see that it pools around the tappets the cams have oil packs that feed them and that changes the uh, ability for the cams to change their timing okay so you'll see there that there's the cam spring and the camshaft now I, I may be incorrect on this but uh, the camshaft itself has oil pumping through the middle of it um, which is actually how the bearings get lubricated the oil is traveling through the cam lubricates the bearing the excess pours out through runners which then lubricates the rest of the rotating assembly okay such as the tappets and and stuff like that okay so there's proof there's proof the Genesis coupe uses a closed oil system it is not a free to base or an open to base 
um, block system, okay, it is a complete pressurized unit. It relies on those vents being under vacuum in order to get the vapors away in order to create a mild amount of suction on the rest of the rotating oil assemblies to for proper lubrication. So while you may not notice that your uh, vented crankcase is making any difference in power, your vented atmosphere crankcase is making any difference in power, the fact is, is you are slowly damaging your engines because this is the way Hyundai designed it. A lot of companies are very big sticklers on um, how things are done and how things are lubricated and they're done that way for a very particular reason and Hyundai is no exception. They have decided that this is the optimal way to, for longevity on their engines and well some people may not agree or they may say it's performance blah 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 whatever the fact is is this is the way it is. The, the reason it goes to the intake is to get um, the vacuum through that way okay because pre-turbo is always under vacuum it always is. Uh, I don't. I've measured it. My I have a sealed catch can right here right now, and if I pull my dipstick out, I have a one eighth port that I've attached my vacuum gauge to, and my vacuum gauge has uh, has indicated uh, roughly four to five inches of mercury at idle. Uh, that's pre-turbo, and my system goes from the crankcase to the completely sealed catch can, from the catch can to the intake. That's the only thing that I've changed from stock is I now have a catch can to collect any uncondensed vapors that have left my engine from the oil galleries in the uh, valve cover. So, the, the, the one thing that I am a little bit uh, disgruntled about in regards to this is basically proof that switching to an aluminum valve cover on this engine is probably also not a good idea unless they take into consideration for those oil galleries. The other thing I noticed is that the ports on the oil galleries themselves are actually different sized from one side to the other. So I don't know if that's done on purpose because there is actually trace marks on the smaller one for the larger one. Um, but that's also another interesting fact of what Hyundai has done to design this engine. So there you go. I hope you guys have all learned something today. And we can stop some of the arguing and uh, discussions on the forums in regards to this because here's proof.